everyone welcome once again to unified husky youtube channel where we make husky simple our aim in unified husky group is for everyone to pass husky at one season i know there are a lot of things to learn but you can do it it is possible just keep practicing don't give up on yourself and you will see that it is possible all right today i'll be taking us through the evaluation station which is the last aspect of the api i mean the assessment the planning implementation and evaluation so it's an eight minute station it's a talking station but then it's not like you're going to have an hack talk or a mannequin but you'll be handing over that patient you've had since assessment you'll be handing this patient over to your assessor using the sba format sba meaning situation background assessment and recommendation so when you get your evaluation question paper at the back of this question paper you find out that this acronym is written at the, at the back of that question paper you can always jot whatever you want to say you can always jot it at the back of that chart nobody's going to mark it it's just for your own consumption but then it just make you more coordinated and for people that find it difficult to read things up and of course it will ensure that you're not saying things half points you get what i mean all right so now in situation what is expected of you you want to talk about yourself what is your name your clinical setting and then you introduce that patient what's the name of this the, the patient the date of birth the hospital number the address of this patient and the reason why you're under that patient over this reason you find it or your evaluation question paper there's a column where the scenario will be written so is it that this patient's condition has deteriorated i need to be admitted in the intensive care unit or probably this patient is not medically fit for discharge, needs to go home, or this patient needs to be a step down to the community hospital, whatever it is, you're going to find it on that your evaluation question paper. And that is all about the situation. Simple, isn't it? Now, moving to background. In background, you'll be talking about the date of admission of your patient, what were the presenting complaints, what was the subsequent diagnosis, any social history, past medical history, drug allergy, okay? And then, of course, remember that I said it's the last aspect of the API. So you will have carried out a set of observation on this patient when the, when you, during your assessment station. So at this station, you have access to all your papers from assessment. So what were your findings during your assessment? You want to talk about it. Was it that this patient was tachycardic or tachypneic or the patient had a spike in temperature? All right. So whatever it is, you'll be talking about that in your background. And what was your new score? Okay. You talk about the new score of this patient during the during your assessment station as in what was the new score when you carried out that set of observation on this patient so you want to talk about any referral being made to a specialist was this patient seen by the respiratory team or the pain management team or the chest physiotherapist whatever it is you talk about all these things in your background and i tell you that is background for you all right so in the next one which is now the assessment section of your evaluation here yeah, you have a new set of observation so it is this new set of observation that you'll be talking about and just to make you more coordinated just follow your a to e approach as well talk about the new set of observation what is now the new score and what were your two nursing problems that you solved in the planning so you talk about this patient not two nursing problems what were they and then of course any medical intervention any nursing intervention was it that this patient had an ECG, went for a chest x-ray, or this patient uh, had blood culture, whatever medical intervention. Or maybe you thought the patient did breathing exercise or repositioning. You thought the patient, maybe you did some range of motion exercise. Whatever you've done for this patient, any of your intervention, you'll be talking about it during this assessment station. And do you have any concern about this patient? Is it that this patient has not been able to find out what triggers? For instance, let's say the patient is asthmatic and the patient hasn't found out what triggers are attack and you're just concerned about that. So you talk about this as well in your assessment station. And uh, the last one, which is recommendation. In recommendation, what do you want to recommend? It could be that you want this patient to be drug compliant or you want this patient to quit smoking and be referred to the smoking cessation team whatever your recommendations have you talk about it and but those recommendations must be something that is realistic and of course related to that scenario and that is all about evaluation now i'm going to be presenting a patient Alison sanders who came with the hospital to the hospital with complaints of chest tightness and breathlessness now 
come on let's go so i've written this down at the back of my own evaluation chart so i'll just be reading it out to my assessor hello good morning my name is Funke, one of the nurses from the respiratory unit and i'm here to hand over allison sanders with hospital number one two three four five six and date of birth one eight nineteen nineteen ninety three with address 15 cherry lane how g191 p here allison is being transferred to the discharge lounge hired over the discharge home later this evening a exacerbation of asthma is being treated conservatively period that is that is all about your situation now moving to background she was admitted to our unit around 8 a.m this morning with complaint of breathlessness and chest tightness a diagnosis of exacerbation of asthma was made she has past medical history of child asthma chronic bronchitis and migraine she lives with partner and she works in a pub so when she came she was really anxious about going back to work i had to encourage her and we are sure that, that she needs to actually go through this treatment and she, of course she can think about her job afterwards which she would like to uh, usually she drink one glass of red wine every night and take about 10 units at a time she smoked about 10 10 uh, 10 uh, cigarettes per day usually on five milligram of prednisolone once daily saptamon inhaler two puffs three times daily Levels are rosin, 100 micrograms once daily. She's allergic to peanuts with vomiting and penicillin with anaphylaxis. She was referred to the respiratory team and she was also seen by the chest physiotherapist when she was with us. So I carried out a set of observations on her and she was scoring four, which made us to be monitoring her every hour because she had a score of three in a single parameter, which was her respiratory rate and it was 26 breaths per minute. Our oxygen saturation was a bit on the low side as well, which was 87%. All right, so uh, we were monitoring her every hourly, like I said. And that is it about background. Now, moving to the assessment, Alison airway is clear. She can make a full sentence with her breathing. Her respiratory rate is now 20 breaths per minute with oxygen saturation of 96%. There's no use of any accessory muscles. With a circulation, uh, blood pressure is 115 over 75 millimeter of mercury. Her heart rate is 90 beat per minute. And with her disability, she's alert. She can hear me well. She can see me well. Moving to the exposure, her temperature is now 36.2 degrees Celsius. And she now has a new score of zero, and which means that we'll be monitoring her lesson every 12 hourly. I came up with two nursing problems, which were Alison was having difficulty with breathing with respiratory rate of 26 breath per minute. Alison was having chest pain as well with a pain score of 7 over 10. All those has resolved now because she had some pain relieving tablets with us. Uh, she was also placed on and she was commenced on um, antibiotics, which she had when she was with us. And also, she had a regular level tyrosine and a regular prednisolone as well. She had a 12 lead ECG. She went for a chest x ray as well, which has been reviewed by the doctors. And of course, we took some samples uh, from, we took some blood samples which were sent to the lab, and everything came back normal. Okay, so my major concern now is that uh, Alison hasn't been able to find out other factors that triggers her attack apart from the smoking so i talked to her about looking out for those other factors so as to reduce her frequency of attacks now talking about recommendation i want to recommend that Alison quit smoking and she she referred to the smoking cessation team i want to recommend that Alison is uh drug compliant because she told me she hasn't been drug compliant though we, we spoke about that at length so if you can just reiterate on that for her to uh, be drug compliant and of course to continue to do deep breathing exercise and for you to continue to monitor her every 12 hourly while she's still with you do you have any questions for me any concern no no question no concern and that is all about your evaluation yeah simple isn't it all right thank you very much for watching so if you have gained anything from this or any of our youtube channels please don't forget to like to subscribe and share thank you very much bye